It's the fifth and final day of the Wissus Forum for 2015. This evening there'll be a closing ceremony, but today there's plenty of work to do with conferences and dialogues continuing throughout. Two of those discussions centre around the rights of and protections for children in a digital world. Section C5, one of the action lines of the WISIS, specifically declares the need for, quote, special emphasis for protection of children online, unquote. In relation to mobile financial services, because again, women's... Representing phone and internet provider Millicom at the workshop on children's rights was Milka Pieta Kenan. Millicom has been working for a while with, uh, with UNICEF now on understanding our impacts on, on children's rights in a more, more broader sense. Um, and in the past um, a year or so we have been working on the ITU and UNICEF guidelines on implementing protections for children online, which is obviously a very relevant children's rights issue when it comes to the telecommunications sector. Some of the other workshops in the final day dealt with digital financial services, the role of broadcasters in the digital era and the ethics of digital innovation. But the big task on the final day is to bring clarity and substance to five days of conferencing and find out what conclusions they can produce. We provide now may not be adequate tomorrow. After lunch, the WISIS Action Facilitators meeting began. The idea being to assess the general progress made within WISIS action lines. They also engaged with incorporating WISIS action lines with sustainable More development goals. We no longer are land. Member lost. of the Russian delegation, Professor Vladimir Minkin, was at the meeting. This meeting is quite important. Uh, this meeting uh, con concluded the result of one year implementation of each action line. During a visas forum, uh, there were several discussions on each action line where all participants uh, give examples of best practice, uh, show uh, their uh, interest in these concrete action lines, raised challenges, and also uh, give some proposals what they uh, want to uh, going further. One of the promises that WISIS makes to those attending is that by the end of the forum, they will have a working summary of the outcomes. It seems quite an ambition. Did they make it? Uh, this is uh, the, the outcome document of the WSIS uh, forum. Uh, we are sending uh, the old delegates uh, home to their capitals and uh, to their cities uh, with the good message that we were working very hard, uh, but it paid off. We have concrete set of the recommendations for the future work. We have series of the partnerships uh, which have been established uh, here at the forum uh, and uh, the follow-up work will be happening uh, just uh, in the in uh, empowerment of persons with disabilities. And the final word of the day and indeed of the week will come from Magdalena Guy, chair of the WISIS Forum of 2015. This year it is very, very important year because we are preparing for the General Assembly of the United Nations in the December and during this General Assembly uh, we will discuss uh, the WISIS beyond uh, 2015. So this, uh, this forum was very important and uh, I can say as a chair that uh, it uh, was great uh, success. And so there we have it. A week of intense conversation, formal and informal, in auditoriums and in conference rooms like this one. Delegates have been working hard on the theme of enabling ICTs for sustainable development and bringing closer their ultimate goal of creating an information society for all.